Hey guys, what's going on? John Haddock here from Think About Comics, joined by... William Thayer, what's up? Today we're going to be talking about X-Men 5 okay. by Jonathan Hickman. What'd you think? Whoo! First of all, let's go ahead and get right to it. Alright, you lie to my girls, there's going to be some pain, okay? Mystique is like, look, I'm going to do the runs for you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to... Hey, look, we going to get whatever you need done up on the spaceship. But, hey, I want my girl, I want my wife back. And sure enough, yo, pain, pain, yo. I, yo, I didn't know they was putting that over head like that. I mean, they, they made some brief uh, comments yeah. in the Powers and House of X about, you know, yeah, yo, we're going we gonna to hook her up, but we're not going to bring her back behind closed doors. Because they was like, they ain't want no precogs on the island. Yeah. But, you know, she think that they full on. But now you see in the story that even, you know, not only did she know that they were going to have the island. But, hey, if they don't bring her wife back, she's going to burn the whole thing down. <laughs> yeah. Burn I it definitely down. think this is one of the stronger issues of the oh, yeah. X-Men of the Hickman run. Uh, yeah. The Hickman saga, I would, I would suppose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I definitely think that the X-Men are... I like the idea that they're alienating certain characters and mm-hmm. making them feel like more important. I mean, these issues... And I'm starting to see it more when you're reading, you know... When you read this week's X... Uh, what was it? X, X-Force? Of course, yeah. You see that they're kind of highlighting certain problems within different characters. Like Kitty has her own problem. Mystique yeah. has her own problem. Yeah. Uh, Domino has hers. Yeah, Domino's. Yeah, I mean, ever since she got cut up, you know. Yeah. So I think yeah. they're 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 highlighting different stories, and mm-hmm. we're seeing how I think once once everyone kind of gets their own story to tell, then the whole thing is going to move better. Yes. I especially liked in this one though that you know Oracle was like, "Look, you're not going to believe it, but hey, trust me, yo, th- this is true. This is going to happen." And at the end, she say, look, if it don't work, hey, burn it down. Take everybody out. And I think this is going to lead to maybe Sabretooth getting out. Yeah. Because I think, yo, they keep they keep messing with her. They keep messing with her. I, I ain't never seen Xavier this. Yes. Yeah. I mean, Marvel's, Marvel's doing a, a good job at painting oh. the X Men as the bad guys. Oh, yeah. And I think that's cool because, we've, in my opinion, we've just seen them so much as being like the victim. Yeah. Like, yeah. even though they do something good, we still hate them and don't want them. Yeah. And now that they've kind of sheltered themselves, mm-hmm. I feel like they're slowly turning into almost like a cult instead of like a, a place of hope. I really think that we're going to see like maybe a. A civil war happened because I think Mystique's going to build her own people. Apocalypse, he's doing his own thing. Yeah. Um, so I think that just the idea of that, hey, look, this top secretness of Krakoa having, yeah. like, hey, look, we don't want any new psychics coming on that predict futures and yeah. stuff. Um, and, and how that's kind of been all hidden. Yeah. I think that's going to slowly get leaked out. And a lot of people aren't going to be happy with it once they realize that, look, these guys are just setting up, even though, like, they were being controlled in the in America yeah. and, and the rest of the world. Now they're all being gathered into one spot and they're being controlled by these elites. I think that's all this is. I think I, I agree with that, but I think you're gonna see which I'm glad about uh, more char- uh, more characters developing and becoming stronger leaders. Like the issue with Gene and Beast, mm-hmm. I liked that. Because that let me see that she, you know, it's like she's coming into her own and, hey, certain things she's not going to be down for. And, yep. you know, hey, we're not going to play these games. And then on this, in this issue, seeing the dynamic between Magneto and Xavier, it's like they're really on the same page. They are beating to the same drum. Yeah. And it's like, yo, when you see them two in that kind of, in that kind of setting, with those kind of vibes, it's going it's going to have to definitely brush uh, the strong characters that are around them the wrong way. It's definitely a scary feeling to see, you know, hey, look, this this guy has kind of lost his identity mm-hmm. and lost who he is and became something else. Well, um, I, I'm a little worried. I don't know if it's Krakoa or maybe it's Phantom X. 
You know, I, I mean, Phantom Xavier took over Phantom X's body. So I mean, I don't. You know, could it be him? Could could it could it could it could it be uh, onslaught personality? Could it be something different? Yeah. I don't know, but uh, Xavier definitely isn't what he used to be. All right. Yeah. Well, do you have anything else you want to say on this issue? I think we kind of um, highlighted everything that it was. I, I think uh, the 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 one thing I I didn't highlight was um, how it went back to the ship and showed you exactly her putting down the plant because we didn't really see her put down no. the plant in the in the. Um, House of Powers X, but her put down a plant and knowing if it worked and him saying in the comp, yeah, yeah, it, uh, it, it's good. You got it done. It's good. It works. So we'll see how it play out in future yeah. comics. I definitely think this issue solidifies that the main X titles you want to read to get the full story is definitely X-Men, X-Force, X-Force yep. and, and kind of, you know, Marauders is the better of the off-spin-offs, but I definitely think X-Force and X Men are the two books yeah. that, if you want to kind of get an idea of what's going on in these stories, yeah. those are the two main heavy hitters that you got to read. Yep. But uh, let us uh, let us know what you guys thought about in the comments. Oh. Uh, what you guys like about this issue? You know, do you like what Hickman's doing? Stuff like that. You want to sign us off? Hey, look, please be safe out there, and look, always support your local comic book shop. Peace. Thanks. <laughs>